big time award-winning chef. Do you see who's in the kitchen with me, Mary? This is so exciting. He is an iron chef, a philanthropist, a James Beard Award winner. He's been on your TV screens for what, two decades now? Something like At that. At least. All right, Chef Ming Tsai is here with us in the QC Kitchen. How are you? Kristen, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to have you. And I'm so excited to tell everybody what this next phase of your life has been. But I think we need to go backwards for a second. We do. To talk a little bit about how you became so involved in eating in a vegan, plant-based way. You know, you, you are what you eat. I've always said that. And, you know, five years ago, and this story ends up very happy, so you know okay, that. So My wife had a diagnosis, and one of the decisions we decided is she should go vegan mm. as part of the, the recovery. And so I created these Ming's Bings because the veggie patty, patty market didn't have anything very tasty. Right. right. They're all dry, they're emulsified chickpeas, and they're all pureed, they're not good. So I flipped the paradigm and created Ming's Bings. I put the emulsification on the outside, which is a brown rice wrapper, so it's gluten-free. And when you say but the emulsification on the outside, for folks that are like, I don't know what that means. So instead of pureeing beans and stuff and making a patty, I decided to let's, let's do that on the outside and make a wrapper and fill it with deliciousness. So we found before the butchers a plant-based GMO free soybean protein, delicious, Vi Life cheese, also vegan, and then I just chefed it up. I had caramelized onions and spices <laughs> and stuff. So I have two different types for you to try. Okay. One is the breakfast bing. Okay. Check this out. So this is a breakfast bing. Mm -hmm. This has um, just egg, potatoes, and cheese. It looks like egg, but it's not egg. No, it's exactly. And this is a very easy, spicy honey Ooh, for you to try to, to dip that okay. in. All right. Super crispy potatoes, mm. eggs, cheese. Oh wow! Right. And that. Right. Mm-hmm. Love okay. it, Kristen. Mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. you have taste. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna make. You've ever been to double? Uh, had double double animal style? Oh yeah. Tell In everybody what that is. So we that is a that is a here. very special burger made uh, in and out out on the West Coast. This is their my version of their dressing. So instead of their kind of like a thousand island, what they make, we yeah. make an eight thousand island. <laughs> this is vegan mayo, a little bit of Heinz, which I love. I don't work for them, for the record. <laughs> um, and then there are a little of these hots, right? Okay. And this is kind of my eight thousand island. The story goes that my chef is Filipino. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, they have seven thousand. 792 islands. Ooh. A little bit too long to put on a package, <laughs> right? So this is the cheeseburger bing. Okay. And what I'm going to do is build this kind of double double animal style. So a uh, lettuce wrap instead lettuce of a bun. Wrap, exactly. A little bit of crispy shallots. Ooh. Gotta have a pickle. And then you gotta have the top on. Oh look at that. And this is your Double double animal style for you to try. Okay, I'll try this one too. There you Look go. at that. Tell me about um, vegan cooking. And I was just interviewing a vegan chef yesterday, actually, and she said it's so much um, easier to convince people to try a vegan lifestyle now because there is so because much more that tastes better. Yeah, if you like the taste of a cheese, you can try that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you'll be try. amazed how this the, how this eats. Okay. If I didn't tell you it was actually vegan, I don't even think you would know, because it has the crispiness, it has the cheesy, it has the burger. What do you Whoa. think? I would not know. Right? I would not know. So do you want to know where you can get them? Yes, please. You can get them at Publix. Kay. You can get them at Sprouts. Kay. You can get them at Lowe's mm -hmm. and Harris Teeter. All over All the down place. Here. And Harris Teeter just started the breakfast bings. And since you're here, because <laughs> you might as well try this too. This is a breakfast bing that's sausage, egg, and cheese. Can I dip it in that honey again? Because yeah, that honey's course. real good. The hot honey. While I'm eating and enjoying all this, how, what have you been doing other than this? Like, what, how's life? What's so, going well, on? So, uh, Iron Chef on Netflix was awesome uh -huh. last year. So that was so, uh, that was just, you know, with all these great Iron Chefs to be part That's of them cool. is amazing. I should say one thing about these. Mm -hmm. The one thing I love so much about the company is our motto is eat good, feel good, do good. Mm -hmm. Eat good, it has to be delicious because I'm an Iron Chef. Yes. Feel good because plant-based does make you feel a little bit better, right? It also does. makes your brain feel a little bit better because global warming is real, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the weather. I just saw your weather people going <laughs> at it, right? That's right. Um, and then do good because some proceeds of all sales of Ming's Bangs yeah. benefit both Dana Farber at the hospital to save my wife life and family reach will financially help families dealing with cancer so important I love that so that's what we're that. doing well it makes you feel better when you know what you're eating and, and it is true I find that if I eat things that are whatever vegan gluten-free all of those things I do feel differently yeah. when I'm done yeah 100%. And so the next morning, how you feel? Wow, I'm actually light. I'm not so heavy. I mean, I, I, I'm a pescatarian. I, I love sushi, so mm -hmm. I still eat fish. I would eat steak once a month, but I never feel awesome after eating a big yeah. steak anymore. It's just, it's just that everyone's changing, I think. I have 30 seconds left um, of all of the things yep. that you've done. 
of all of the shows that you've done, which one has been the most fun for you? You know what? Like, I loved East Meets West so much. So, I'm, I'm not going to talk about my, East Meets West is my favorite of all the shows because it was my first show. Uh -huh. The best TV segment I ever did, it was a special, was right here at Winston-Salem. It was with Marcus Samuelson and oh. Dr. Maya Angelou. What? And I got to eat dinner with her, and I got to stay. And this, I got this on Marcus. She asked me to spend the night, not with her, but in her, <laughs> in house, her house. And he had to go to a hotel. <gasps> but at least I got to be like, so I spent the night at Dr. Andrews. How about how was the Holiday Inn Express, Marcus? How did that? <laughs> what a combination of people! It, it, it was the most amazing. I got to cook for her once, right after Barack Obama won the first time. Mm. And she's a huge foodie, right? Yeah. Bless her soul. She really, mm -hmm. I mean, of all her lines, when people show you who they are believe them yes that is like that's that's wisdom you have to listen to that right. one that is that is so and true. then she also agreed with me you are what you eat you are what so you, you eat. might as well eat some Ming's Banks yeah that's right what I'm now saying. I'm I'm <laughs> not real eggs not real meat and I'm really digging it so thanks chef thank you so much thank Chris. you for coming to see thank us thank you all all of the information on your screen right now check it out I can't even believe you were in our kitchen we're really excited mm. about that I'm you loved, even love it. I'm going to eat this stuff. <laughs> Mary, we're going to save you some bings. Ah, please do. I, we are hungry over here. Mm -hmm.